Hey guys, Fahad is here and welcome to Get Droid Drums YouTube channel. Today in this video, we're gonna review the latest version of Arrow OS, which is based on the Android 11, as you can see here. And this is the official build for our Redmi Note 8 and Note 8T, as you can see here. So in this video, we will review it out and we will check out its features, stability, and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 8 and Note 8T. So without any further ado. Let's get started. So the ROM is pretty stable. There is no any single bug or issue. Every single thing is just working fine. Bluetooth is working. Uh, Wi-Fi is working. Hotspot, mobile data, Volti. Uh, even the Wi-Fi calling is also working pretty much fine. Hotspot, everything is just working fine. And you can also connect uh, any smartwatch with your uh, mobile using this ROM so I have not faced any issue on this ROM so first of all we will check out the launcher in the launcher we have this launcher launcher with some minimum settings then we have the widgets styles and wallpapers in the styles and wallpapers first of all we have the wallpaper section and we also uh, we only get this wallpaper pre-installed but you can install a lot of uh, and beautiful live wallpaper by watching my previous videos then we have the styles in the styles we only have this one style pre-installed you can create your own by clicking on the custom button then you can change the grid for your launcher and at the last you can change the clock style as you can see here it really looks beautiful so we get this simple camera pre-installed right here as you can see here so you can uh, click the images take the video right from here but don't worry you can also install any gcam mode from the link in the description as you can see here it is pretty much working fine so the overall performance and the app opening speed is also good as you can see here so everything is just working fine the overall performance and the gaming performance of this rom is also good i have installed my all applications and they are working pretty much fine and in the quick settings we have a lot of useful shortcuts like you can check your weather you can enable the caffeine modes you can switch the data uh, from the sim cards you can reboot directly from here to here you can enable the focus mode bed night mode uh, you can do a lot of things right from here now let's dig into the settings the, uh, the system icons of this ROM is little bit changed as you can see here it looks pretty cool and in the setting first of all we have the search bar then we have network and internet connected devices apps and notifications then we have the battery the battery performance of this ROM is also pretty much awesome uh, but if you want to install any custom kernel then you can go with custom kernel uh, but make sure that custom kernel uh, is built for Android 11 ROMs. Then we have the usage, then we have the battery manager. Uh, you can uh, switch the scale of the battery temperature. You can enable or disable the battery uh, saver. You can manage the battery light right from here. Then we have the battery percentage. You can disable or enable it right from here. Then we have the display section right here. From here, you can manage the brightness. You can enable or disable the dark mode right from here and uh, then we have the night light which is working pretty much fine you can change its intensity right from here then we have adaptive brightness style then wallpaper screen timeout colors you can change the colors right from here but it doesn't works then we have screen saver lock screen double tap to wake and you can enable or disable the blur effect right from here so then you can manage the phone size and display size, you can manage the weather, you can manage the uh, status bar icons from here. After it we have the sound, the sound quality of this ROM is also pretty much awesome as you can see here and we also have the Mi sound enhancer in these Xiaomi parts which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality and we also get this display color collaborator in the Xiaomi parts. Uh, then uh, we have the privacy location security in the security we have on screen locks and fingerprint we don't have the face unlock and fingerprint is just working fine as you can see here it is unlocking the device quickly then we have accounts accessibility buttons in the buttons we have minimum 
customizations of the buttons you can enable the advanced reboot you can uh, action you can enable the actions for the power menu you can uh, tweak the volume broker buttons then we have the gesture settings first of all we have the quickly open camera activate the torch system navigation bar you can uh, get the navigation gestures right from here and you can also hide the navigation bar pill right from here and then we have premium tracking swipe three fingers to screenshot power menu and double tap to sleep on the status bar and then we have uh, digital well-being google xiaomi power system in the system we have languages and input date and time backup reset option multiple users updater and in the about phone section you can check your android version which is the 11 and the arrow os version is 11.0 official build for our redmi note 8 and note 8t as you can see here its security patch is also updated 5 january 2021 so the rom is pretty stable there is no any single bug or issue uh, this rom is recommended for daily usage you can use it as your daily driver so from my side it is completely recommended now how you can download it and install it on your redmi note 8 and note 8t so first of all you need to download uh, the arrow os 11.0 for your redmi note 8 and note 8t from the link in the description there are two builds first one is the gfs build and second one is the vanilla builds so if you don't want to install the gfs manually then you can go with the gfs build and if you are interested to install the gfs manually then you can go with the manually so after downloading the rom reboot your device into an installed custom recovery you can uh, use any recovery in my case i am using the pitch black recovery after going into the recovery go to wipe advanced wipe and right from here wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card do not select the internal storage and sd card right from here otherwise it gonna delete your old data just wipe home right here after wiping go back to home click on install now locate your downloaded os arrow os rom mine is here and i have downloaded the vanilla build just click on it and flash it right from here after flashing the vanilla builds just flash the uh, gfs if you downloaded the gfs build then no need to flash the gfs after flashing the rom and gfs uh, must flash this disable uh, dm variety uh, you can download it from the description just install it and you can also install the magics if you want to root your rom after flashing these files just reboot system and the rom will be installed on your redmi note 8 and note 8t so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace